what's going on guys, smited up 13, didn't think my camera was going to start then. So yeah, it's a football vlog. And um, it's Barry, eating a biscuit, with cheese in the middle. And once again we've begun, begun by advertising. <laughs> so, doing well. So, yeah, obviously last video was the Maidstone game, where we won 2-1. And the third part of that will actually be uploaded on the Davis video was filmed and Ryan has just headed a football. Been doing that a lot recently. Yeah. What's up with me? I think it's uh, his appearance money, isn't it? For uh, his paid per header. Yeah, so for every header he gets he gets an extra twenty-five quid thrown in for a bonus. Hmm. I wish I got that. <laughs> Wish I got a bonus every time I got whacked by the bowl. <laughs> but, That'd be your season to get paid for. Eh? But no, it's uh, obviously I did film a video during the week, but wasn't happy with it really because I just rambled on and so on. Less so than I do normally. And to be fair, it was sort of like eh, it wasn't up to the best standard. A lot of road noise. Right. Dave. There's a lot of country chuck uh, biscuit boys. Oh yeah, but I'm just a full grain. Bro. Mm. This is late lunch. Mm. Student style. Yep. Even though Barry is a little bit older than student. Yep. Very mature student. Mm. Well, very immature mature student. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> I'm just immature. Well, the balls are all going up on the roof. Oh. So they've got a bit of fire. Yeah. It's bloody freezing. Mm. Seems like it's stopped raining, it's got a lot colder. Mm. Much colder. Too mm. cold. And some parts got snow, haven't they? Mm. Oh. All I can say is I'm glad I'm not a brass monkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half minutes, yep. and this video has already gone to shit. Yeah. To be fair, it went to shit after about 30 seconds at Oxford. So, so we're gonna uh, slow it down a bit. Let's see if we can up the ante against Charlton. Yeah. Five seconds, me and Barry would have said something inappropriate. What I'm wondering is, is whether Dan will be working on that one. Because yeah. it is within the season, isn't it? Well, actually, no, it's after Oxford, isn't it? Yeah, we, uh, he won't be doing after it. After Oxford? I don't think he'll be doing it. But as it's a Chris's part, will he be on duty or...? No, because if you remember, what he said is, is Oxford's going to be his last game. So... I may have to stock up on tuck biscuits, they're quite nice. I remember, it's another thing I never liked as a kid. I don't know why, it was too... I didn't like the taste, but mm. I think it's because I'm hungry. I'm just like, fuck it, it tastes good. <laughs> uh, but... I've got three packages for two quid. Where from? Uh, I think it was in Iceland. Oh, crap. Um, well, crazy dick ass. Saved it. But unfortunately, they didn't see his fingers and off for a poor one. Crazy to isn't it? Oh. Crazy to go. <coughs> Something like that. Something unpronounceable. Keeper, as you should be known. He comes all the way from uh, Greece, the creek to Burner down the road. <laughs> and if you're Greek, we apologise if you feel insulted, but tough shit. In before my channel gets shut down for being racist. Um, does, does someone want to tell him he's not supposed to put butter in his glass? Could we have Lee Burns back in gold? <laughs> mm. Here's a challenge for you. Will my right hand get frostbite? Before we finish eating the tuck biscuits. I'm going to say no. 
Mainly because we've almost gone through a whole pack. Hopefully. In very short time. Yeah. Now what I'm looking to do is eat at the level. So I'm also looking to do at home is buying a mini fridge. So that when I play Xbox at night I can have drinks. Chilled. Mm. Especially as the warm weather comes. Rather than not exactly, rather than having to go down and run downstairs, grab a drink, which takes me like five minutes, but it's five minutes. You can also stash your chocolate in there. Mm. Get an anti-leo block on it. I'll just duct tape the door shut, fuck it. Or just leave him in the fret. If he goes in there, I'll get my old wooden sword I've got and smack him in the bollocks with it. Pretty good little brother to tear in, I'd say. Just over from Basic Center. After the uh, high tense atmosphere of last Saturday and the uh, come out of the box running and giving them made start a good hammering, it's been very low key so far. Face and Stoke, I don't know what they're playing for, Pride, uh, contract for next season. Mm. Which is our slow pace? on the shelf to see if they can be sold. I mean, this is how slow paced it is last week. I didn't even have lunch because the game was so fast paced you just didn't want to leave the action. But now, it's been so slow we've had. It's like one, one up as well, haven't we, by now? Yeah. It's been so slow that we've had a packet of quavers oh, even. I've discovered I like it. Which is a bit of a surprise actually. So, quavers are good and I also like tuck biscuits, which is something else I used to like. <laughs> Uh, done the fun too. Thank you very much, sir. Here we go, Bob. Well, I'm pleased to say, all five fingers are still there. Can't feel them, but they're there. So, you guessed in the description below. That no Barry, or yes Barry would have all his fingers. We're in Barry's weekly wage on this channel. Which is one twenty uh, one twenty-fifth of a fella. So for the St Albans game, it's probably going to be a bumper end of season video. We're going to have the entire team, so me, Barry and Dan, Grandad as well hopefully. Yep, it'll be a... Be food. Watling Street, Roman invasion of St Albans, the Roman town. Yep. Actually St Albans are, are uh, twin of a church in my town, might not. Well. I think Cranham is right because it's an Orphan's Road or Avenue or something like that. Mm. It's an Orphan's Road here. Flower shop then, eh? No, no, not the one in uh, Cranham. Oh. Well, it wasn't. Might be a few pansies, but... <laughs> that was terrible. But no, we've also possibly another video coming up tonight with being me doing to... doing a how do you... How to do Welsh cakes right? Because Barry is giving me a box for myself. Box for, for myself. So. Eating and sampling Welsh cakes again. Except this time they're going to be heated up. Heated up with a bit of sugar on top. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Meanwhile, we'll have to make do with a cold packet. Oh God, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I've got to give you. Ah. <laughs> Done in by the Welsh cakes. <laughs> So basically, guys, Barry is as revenge. Look, Welsh cakes. And nom, 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 nom. So basically, look. Oh, allergen update. Are you allergic to Welsh cakes? 
Well, that'd be a stretch, wouldn't it? <laughs> but no, um. But no, I'm at this first time looking forward to some Auburn's wife. Yeah. I have to work out how many matches I've actually missed this season. You missed quite a few over November and December. Yeah. But I haven't done too badly. No. I've done quite a lot of the ways. The only thing that was annoying with you missing the November and September, uh, November and December games, was because you seem to drop off the face of the bloody earth. <laughs> yeah. Well, near enough. Wales isn't that desolate. But no. Um. Obviously, with the football season, they're only being. Well, it's, it's including that there's still three games left because we're through the final of the Kent Senior Cup, which will be a cup. Final, which I've just basically repeated what I said, haven't I? This will be a game against Charlton. Charlton the well, they clearly at the moment appear to be addicted to shit football. Although, to be fair, all jokes aside, I've got nothing but respect for the Charlton fans. I mean, when you've got a clueless idiot who says you don't like the way the clubs run, fuck off and go support someone else. There's a lot about modern football. Them as a complete dickhead and not a football person. Yep. I mean, if you uh, if it was me or Barry, we would say no. No, you stay. You support our club because this is the club you have supported for many, many years. Yep. It's one of those things. Once, once a fan, always a fan. Unless you're a man, yeah. Yeah, and then you switch to Chelsea and then Man City. Yeah. And then or whoever a, else is top of the league that season. So basically, well, I think we can safely say though, every fan this season has become a Leicester fan, unless you're a Tottenham fan mm. or Arsenal. But yep. Arsenal don't really like anyone. I understand. He's looking a bit rosy cheeked. And here we have a Woodland Sure, so we'll be back soon.